Easy catch you on Yannicka. I'm here in my professional studio. You know, I got my YouTube studio right now. We lit over here. We got everything in Penn State. They're supplying me with this stuff right now. You know, we lit. We lit. We got the flat screens, the two flat screen HD TVs. So I'm going to be getting into my Meek Mill reaction for him getting released. But before I do that, here's a short clip of my I'm a Boss saxophone cover. I'm the first person in the world to drop this. So definitely check it out. Here we go. <laughs> All right, what's good, y'all? This is Ikechi on Yannicka, and today I'm about to do my reaction on the whole Meek Mill situation. So as y'all know, Meek Mill just got released from prison. You know, it's a huge commotion in this area, you know. I live in the Philly area, so like everybody, everybody and their mom is pretty much like excited, shocked, emotional, just cheering. Like there's a whole new life. There's like a whole new light in like everybody's personality. So it's like a huge deal for everybody. So honestly, what I'm thinking right now is about time, you know what I'm saying? About time, because I've been waiting for months. I've been waiting for months for this to happen. I'm like, you know, they told, I think they said that he wasn't getting down to like 2021 or so. Like he was going to be in there for like a grip. So I'm like, ah, this isn't cool. This isn't cool. I really wanted to like, I've always hoped that I could at least run into the man, you know. But, like, it just wasn't looking, you know, it just wasn't looking all right. But, like, now he's back. I think he's back in Philly. He was just, I've been seeing, like, a lot of pictures with him and Kevin Hart at the Sixers game. So I'm guessing, like, he's back, you know, in the city, back in business. But my thing is, like, everybody's so, like, the commotion is crazy right now. But my question is, how in the world do you just get out of prison? You just got released. And right after, you're going to head over to a Sixers game. How in the world does that happen? Like, he's not tired at all. He's been in prison for, like, six months. And this, you're, you're trying to tell me this man is not tired at all. Like, all this press coming out, you know, trying to talk to him and everything. His best buddy's trying to talk to him. I'm like, dang. Like, prison, I mean, the prison system really messes people up in the head. And, like, this isn't even the first time that he's been there. So it's like, how in the world... Can this man just, like, go out, just scot-free, just, like, no care in the world? Like, he just went to the grocery store and came back, and he's good to go. And just go to a Sixers game and function perfectly. With all those cameras on him, the spotlight, him being on the TV and everything, him just standing next to the one of the funniest comedians, arguably, Kevin Hart. I mean, like, bruh. It's just so much in, like, the matter of, like, a couple hours. But, like, that was just honestly, you know, something... Something that was just a little weird to me, you know, maybe he's just a, a really fast recoverer or whatever, and, you know, he could just jump back like that. I don't know. I can't do that. <laughs> I wouldn't know the feeling anyway, obviously, but, like, dude, that was just something that was on my mind. But, yeah, definitely a lot of people are bumping um, Dreams and Nightmares. It's, like, it's basically our um, theme song here in this area. Um, people are, you know, making a lot of Meek Mill content <clears throat> just to... Show that, you know, their man is home, you know what I'm saying? Just give him, give props where it's due. He really, a lot of people don't know this, and I'm speaking from, like, the Upper Darby standpoint. Meek Mill has posed, like, he's posed, like, a huge influence on people in Upper Darby. Because, like, a lot of people, they dress like him, they want to talk like him, they listen to all his music. He, like, helps them, like, his music is so inspirational, it actually helps us, really, get along in life and like kind of gives people direction like it's it's really unreal the level of like impact that he's had on people you know my peers and me in a way because um the reason why i like meek mill is because we kind of share similarities when it comes to like our music creation we both tend to make songs or base our music off of the idea of dreams you know like you, you guys already know my song City Dreams. If you don't, if you've never heard my song City Dreams and you're new to my channel, probably will be right above. But most definitely, I like to hone in on the way you know, just the idea of like when you dream, 
you know, when you're out here trying to chase your goals, you can basically achieve any goal, you know, if you put your mind to it and you actually put the work to get there. And it's not going to be easy, but you just have to keep going. I feel like Meek Mill shares that same, you know, idea and that same message with his music, which is why I can kind of relate to him on a deeper level when it comes to, like, music in general. Plus, he just, like, whenever you listen to it, like, have you ever, for any of you guys who work out, you can't tell me that you've never heard of anybody not listening to Meek Mill in the gym. You cannot tell me they've never heard that before. Because, like, his voice is just already hype. Like, you're already going to start getting into the workout and everything. It kind of, it drives you. Like, that's not something that you see with, like, other artists. I'm not Definitely, he just has, he gives you energy. And, like, he gives you something to feed off of. So, like, he makes you want to do stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, like, that's really cool. And it's something that's kind of needed in our society. But moral of this video, <clears throat> I'm happy Meek's back. You know, I pray that someday I actually get to meet the man. You know, thank him for what he's done for not just me, but, like, everybody in this area, including everybody in the world. If you guys haven't already seen it, I am the first person in the world to drop the I'm a Boss saxophone cover and tutorial. Probably right above. And I also ranked number one in the whole world on YouTube. So definitely check that out. We're making moves here in the Philly scene. Definitely check out my vlogs. Definitely check out my performance videos. I'm definitely on the come up. So I'm bringing something new to the table. So definitely check me out. But shout out to Meek Mill. If you like this video, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you want to see more reaction videos or videos kind of similar to like, you know, to this. Also, make sure to tag Meek Mill. Share this video to any Meek Mill fan. Make sure to follow me on my social media. The links will be down below in the description and also leave an end slide at the end of this video. Make sure to turn on post notifications so you know as soon as my next video comes out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace.